Greetings and welcome to another part of the Project 304. Today is a very special episode. Why? Because it's the last episode. Because in this today's episode we will actually finish the model. Because we will print the superstructure and all the guns. And once that is completed, there is nothing else to do. Well, that's not entirely true because uh, I'm still playing with the idea to actually design some kind of stand with some kind of a placket, but uh, that will not be part of this video. And uh, uh, another thing that I'm playing with is the idea to actually make a model of 302 in scale. So I'm not sure if I can use my own, but uh, yeah. Uh, having at least one or two 302s in scale uh, that would be placed around here, I don't think that would look really bad. Anyway, now we have to do uh, what I just said, meaning print uh, those two um, remaining things. So basically we need here the superstructure those four Asgard plasma beam weapons and the railgun turrets. Now, one thing that I will uh, say immediately, yeah, here we have uh, two bottom ones. I decided to skip them. Uh, I have them printed out, uh, but I didn't mount them. Uh, simply because right now it basically lies on those hungers and uh, having those uh, would not be really bad, uh, would not re be really good for stability. So if I eventually design some kind of stand, then sure, I will add them there. Anyway, let's take a look at the superstructure itself. Okay, so we, here we have the superstructure, so now we will take a look at how it actually is assembled. So first we have this piece and its corresponding part. As you can see, they all have uh, those locks. Then we have uh, th that is a top layer, and underneath we have a bottom layer, which is basically the same thing. Plus it has all those plugs that, that will go to the main body of the 304. Okay, then we have these eight ribs that will go straight here and then the upper part that uh, holds together those bottom and top pieces plus those ribs and the front part of it so basically this thing uh, these two things uh, held those two layers and those ribs together Yeah. Now we have the well secondary wing that goes to those ribs and same on the other side. And then we have those covers. Yeah, the one here is also there, but for some reason doesn't want to show up, but I don't care about it. Okay, then we have this piece. It's simply slide it to that hole, the top, and even topper top. antenna array second piece this front piece and this piece okay so this is the superstructure and this is what we will now going to print of course we also have to do the guns so here we have the railgun turrets and 
and the Asgard plasma being weapons. Okay, so that's all, and now we'll go straight to printing. So here we have all the parts for the for the uh, superstructure. Um, now, uh, for these secondary wings, as you can see, this one is already assembled. Uh, here we have this small rib that comes here and this cover that goes in there and click together in place. Now, if that doesn't uh, hold in place as well, feel free to use uh, glue. Anyway, uh, this part unfortunately uh, didn't print uh, well. This corner, uh, well, it did not uh, stuck to the printing bed and it warped a little bit. So this corner um, was elevated. So as you can see, uh, it looks really bad and it is warped, but um, it will be underside. So I'm willing to try it because it was, uh, I believe, five hour print. So I'm not that uh, eager to print it again. So I will try to use it. And if uh, uh, when I assemble it together, there will still be gap here. I will try to use a glue and uh, maybe it will uh, hold. I don't know yet. Anyway, we will start with assembling the this part. So we have this part, as you can see, I have uh, painted it. Now we will take uh, those uh, antennas and simply put it into this long hole. Okay, like this. Then we will take the roof and put it in and then this part and, and it's like this. Okay, so I will put it aside for now and now the main pieces. So this is the bad one and this is the opposite one, as you can see, they have logs here, so just like this. And then the upper ones, which are those ones, once again. Okay. And then we have this part. which will help everything together. So I will try to Okay, it's put together. Um I think it's okay. Here is a little bit of gap. Yeah, I think I, it's not that bad. I honestly thought it would be worse, but I will leave it like that. Now I will take this part and simply insert here. Okay, now. One wing, so. okay, both wings are attached. Now I will add this piece. this piece okay and 
and finally this piece. Okay, like this. And now the whole superstructure will be inserted via those knobs. And pushed okay so yeah everything is in place and yeah so now only the guns and then the 304 is done Okay, so as you can see, I already inserted all those railgun turrets as well as the Asgard plasma beam weapons. I didn't really bother to actually record it because it's kind of pointless. Basically, I had to fill every hole with those turrets. And that basically means that after a better part of months of uh, printing, this thing is actually finished. This was without a doubt the uh, longest print I have ever done and most more most complex. I uh, yeah nothing I've done so far was this complex here. I'm really happy how it actually turned out and uh, I'm surprised how actually structurally stable it is yeah oh one thing i have to mention as you can see uh here we have uh, here we have uh, uh, another hole set of holes for the uh, railgun turrets i decided to not use them uh right now it sits quite well and if i put it there then it would be kind of bad to uh, for the stability now uh, i'm thinking about designing some kind of stand uh, if i do then sure but for now since i don't have any stand i'm not sure uh, it's well needed anyway as i said this is it so i think now it's time for some detailed look Yeah, sorry for my hand. It really is kind of heavy. <clears throat> so, yeah. Here you can see my BC-304 Ares. Finally finished. I am so glad that it's finally behind me. Though, well, not really, because starting tomorrow I'm going to print the Prometheus so that this big boy uh, has its older brother or sister. Okay, so we are, uh, yeah, that's it. Well, I think that I might even, you know, print. Uh,
print the uh, F302 in scale, just to put it there. Okay. So, yeah. So this is it. My BC304. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you want, just print it out for yourself. Okay, bye-bye.